Their daughter and that day weighed heavily on the minds of Brett and Kelly King as they walked to the podium to ask for public support for Chelsea's Law. With a portrait standing alongside, Brent spoke of the overwhelming pain that began on February 25th. During her run, our daughter's life was brutally, tragically taken away from her, and our family's world was shattered. Then he called for new, tougher laws to protect our children from sexual predators. If our laws were smarter and bolder, Chelsea might still be here. If there was greater accountability for enforcement of existing laws, Chelsea might still be here. The man charged with Chelsea's murder, John Gardner, was a registered sex offender who reportedly violated parole several times, which could have sent him back to prison. State Assemblyman Nathan Fletcher is trying to enact a law that would keep sexually violent predators on a tight leash, if not behind bars for life. I don't believe you can rehabilitate a sexually violent predator who goes after a child. With this in mind, we are going to do everything possible to put in place policies to ensure the maximum sentence for these offenders. Chelsea's law, he proposes, would have a strong one-strike provision, not wait for three convictions. He wants the parole system reformed and lifetime GPS tracking. There's tremendous anger about Chelsea King's death. Thousands joined in the search, and thousands more attended the memorial service. Fletcher forward, hopes to build on that public involvement to enact her law.